you may have a boundary about something and they start pushing that line a little by little until you no longer have that boundary. Now what happens is you start doing things that you would not otherwise do. You start living a life that you would not have otherwise wished to live. You are not making choices and you are not living the life you prefer. You are living the narcissist's version of what the relationship and your life will look like so that it serves them and their constant need for ego filling supply. You know what one of the problems is about boundary crossing and narcissistic people? It's the coercive control that comes from the crossing of those boundaries. You see, as the narcissist is grooming you and as they are trying to make you think there is a good reality that's right there in front of you, right? Like they're trying to make you believe they're a good person, make you believe that you, that you can't live without them, that they're amazing, that that everything is fantastic and fabulous, and they're grooming you to believe a reality, whatever that is for your particular situation. Right? In the beginning, when they're grooming you to believe in the reality that they're creating and the narrative that they're setting, and they are sort of setting this tone of what the relationship will be like, and then they start devaluing and take that away, right? So that you feel like you have something to strive for, so that you feel like you're needing to fix something in yourself. It keeps you beneath them. It keeps you always seeking, seeking their attention, which is what they want from you. So in all of that, what starts to happen is your boundaries get moved. You that coercive control is the point of emotional abuse. It goes into every area of your life. Every area of your life will be filled with this coercion that comes from the gaslighting, that comes from the pressure and the boundary pushing, especially the boundary pushing. My name is Lise Colucci. I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic people in your life. And I'm wondering, have you had your boundaries pushed? Let me know in the comments if you are understanding or relating to anything I'm saying here. Once that's happened, you start to believe it's your fault. Once your boundaries have been pushed so far that the new normal is like, this is where you were and your new normal's way over here, you start to believe that you're doing things that are wrong because you're wrong. Not because your boundaries have been slowly pushed until you are now doing things you would not otherwise wish to do. And it's not just the doing things, it's the way we act, it's the things we say. Someone may push your boundaries in ways where like say you're a really pleasant person and most of your life you don't have trouble with people, you're you're pretty easygoing, you're nice. And a narcissistic person will start gaslighting you and start blame shifting you and start, you know, doing all those manipulative games on the interpersonal part of your relationships so that you start getting angry and you start having to defend yourself. Now, as a person who doesn't normally get defensive and angry, you might take a while. And so they start pushing that boundary of where your anger is. Oh, I can get them this angry. Okay. And they stop there. Then the next time, oh, it's a little more angry. And you ever notice how that escalates to the point where you, where you started and your boundary with yourself for how you interact with others, how you are in relationships, how you are psychologically with other people is now way over here and you're screaming and yelling. And you never did that before. I mean, that's reactive abuse. Yes. But it's all, it's, but it's stemming from this pushing of the boundaries, this pushing of your tolerance, this pushing of your limits until you can't take it anymore, until you go, fine, there's the new normal, now this is how we are, okay? And so now you're living your life as someone who yells at someone or someone who's angry at someone all the time, right? Which is never how you were before. And you start believing it is your fault. That is coercive control that led you there. That is boundary pushing and coercing you into behaving a certain way. It's manipulation. It is not that someone can make you do something. It is a slow and insidious manipulation that leads you there. Does that make sense? It's different than something happening once and you're like, oh, they made me do it. That doesn't make any sense. Coercion does make sense because it is, because it's a tactic used for mind control, right? It's meant to make you do what they want 
you to do. And why would a narcissist want you to be angry all the time? Well, that is supply, you guys. And that's proving you're the bad one, they're the good one. That I have whole videos on that stuff, but let's keep going. I don't say this very often, but hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos about healing from toxic relationships. So once you feel like your boundaries are just all over the place and you have been manipulated to get there, and you recognize that it is coercive control that that narcissistic person or that toxic person has used to make this happen. At that point, it can be really hard because at that point, we do have to assume some sort of responsibility for ourselves, even though it's almost impossible for a bit to stop the actions that we're doing that are going against our own line for what we wish to be doing with our life, right? So if you need help, if you need coaching, if you need group coaching or anything like that, or if you want more videos made about this topic and you have specific questions, check out the information in the main description of every video or leave me a comment. Keep watching these videos for more information as well, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.